a review of the Rimmel Apocalypse lip lacquers to share with you. Um, I know in America these are called the showstopper lip lacquers which is bizarre because usually America get the better name for a product if not the same name. Showstopper just seems a bit underwhelming and not as cool as Apocalypse. So. Sorry guys. But I have four shades to share with you today. I already have them swatched. Now these retail for six pounds forty nine a piece. Um, yeah, high street makeup is kind of slowly creeping up in price. Um, I would highly recommend waiting until these are on special offer. Buy one get one free. Buy one get one half off. Three for two, or you know, just wait till there's an offer. It's really not worth paying full price for these. These are available in I think 12 colours now if not if not 16. I believe there were like 8 or 10 originally and then they've gone and brought a whole other range of new colours that I haven't had a chance to get a look at yet. Um, but these are from the original release. I have Nude Eclipse, which is a straight up peachy beige. It's quite a clean, clean peachy beige. And it's it's not like a white out kind of nude. It is a bit darker, but then I am quite pale. If you are darker than me, then this would be like putting myth on your lips, I think. Um, but it's a perfect lip lacquer for putting over a darker nude and um, sort of brightening up the center of your lips to create like that 3D effect. Next I have Galaxy which is this purpley plum color. Um, it's one of my more used colors out of them. Um, it doesn't come up quite as dark as this on the lips for me but it's still really really pretty. Next I have Apocalyptic, which is the hot pink, which I think everybody, everybody bought this one. Um, it's a really nice kind of raspberry pink um, and it's not quite blue toned, but it's not quite yellow toned either. It's kind of neutral and um, I think it's really, really, really pretty and everybody should have it, definitely. Lastly, we have Big Bang, which is the blue toned red which again I think pretty much everybody bought this one as well um, I think Essie Button had this one and you know whatever Essie Button buys everybody buys because um, she just has amazing taste um, this is a beautiful colour and it's possibly the most complimented one that I have worn every time I wear this colour everybody asks me what it is how I get it so perfect and to be honest this applicator makes everything so perfect. It has kind of a well inside it. I don't know if that'll pick up on camera, but inside there, there is a well that holds the most perfect amount of product to do your lips. Now these are a long wearing, high shine lip lacquer. Um, I can wear mine for about five or six hours before any real wear starts to show. The gloss part only really lasts the first hour or so and it does wear off quite a bit if you were to eat something but it doesn't wear off completely. Um, and be careful of mugs because it stains the rim of your mugs. So you'll have to properly scrub those when you clean them. Um, I learned that the hard way. I think the best thing about this product is the colour range that is available because there are so many colours you can find the perfect one for you basically. They have a wide selection of nudes, neutrals, bright colours, 
um, even vampy colours, um, you're bound to find one that will suit you and that you will like. Um, I don't find them drying whatsoever, I don't find they um, cling to any dry patches or make um, flaky parts of my lip, you know, exaggerated in any ways. Um, they're a bit like any other lip gloss really, you put it on and it's a bit like moisturising and you get your colour. Um, I will say however the brighter colours will stain your lips, um, especially if you do have any dry patches they will stain the dry skin. I love these. I would purchase more colours but I don't think that would be wise in my position to purchase more colours. Um, but they are a great everyday throw in your makeup bag kind of lip product. Um, you could even keep two if you want for working during the day and want to throw, off, throw on when you finish your shift. I do that sometimes. <laughs> Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this review and if you have any extra questions or anything feel free to let me know in the comments below and as always there will be a link in the info box to my blog for in-depth pictures and swatches and um, if I can get a list of the full colour selection I will also put that in the blog post. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys later. Bye bye.